<laughs> okay, I need to make sure that I'm sure off and I'm good on this. Or I'm good sure off. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably why people are like, don't interview your friends. Yeah. <laughs> I've definitely been told not to interview yeah. your friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Abby. I'm a freshman at the University of Oregon, and I'm an art major. Uh, I've been doing art, like, my whole life since I was little. Um, my, I don't know, my parents, my dad was an art major also. He went to U of O and was also an art major. Um, and so both my parents kind of, uh, encouraged, like, just doing art and so all that kind of stuff. Just uh, my whole family is kind of artists. My grandma's an artist and, uh, I don't know, I just, since I was little, which I feel like that goes for, like, a lot of people have been doing it since they were little, but I feel like, uh, I've taken it more seriously, like, at the beginning of high school and, like, maybe like middle school age started like actually trying to teach myself like actual art skills but yeah my whole life some of my art influences um anything surrounding like the seven sixties 60s or 70s that kind of like i don't know like aesthetic is i always have really liked it um like the music, uh, I, I like 70, I like listening to 70s music, and then uh, the color scheme, I really love like 60s and 70s, the like color scheme is kind of like the like earthy, like yellows and browns, and, um, and then like kind of the brighter colors, I really love uh, all that kind of, that aesthetic of 60s and 70s art, and uh, people and like fashion and music and movies and stuff in the 70s and 60s uh, and then um, another influence of me honestly I'll something that always gets me wanting to do art or like inspired to do art it's just seeing something that I really like or that makes me really happy and then I will want to go and like make my own art based on that um, so like any any movies that I really like, like I love uh, I love like Wes Anderson movies, like Rushmore and any of the, the kind of like really interesting, visually interesting uh, movies uh, and TV shows. And anything that inspires me and makes me happy and anything that I don't already see like people making art of and I kind of see that there's like a void and art for my specific like interest or thing that I really love, I will go and make something based off of it. Well, when I sit down to do art, sometimes it's kind of a love-hate relationship because it's sometimes hard for me to force myself to do art just because I feel like that goes for like a lot of people who create anything. It's kind of hard for you to like force yourself to sit down and do something. But uh, once I'm actually doing the art or I have an idea for something and I actually put it in motion um it's i don't know it's just like one of the most like fun things for me to do ever and i'll like send send like works in progress to, like my mom and stuff like that and be like oh like this is what i'm working on and usually it's like music that we both like or something like that um so it definitely is something that just like brings me closer and gets me to think about things that i like more which is always really fun the way i see my art like taking me in the future career-wise like my degree and otherwise just like my personal practice of art um I definitely I mean I already am selling a lot of my art on Etsy I, that's like one of the things that that kind of inspires me I mean a lot of people feel like when you like commodify the art it like takes the the fun out of it or joy out of it but I really I, it's kind of like inspired me more to, to sell my art because if anyone ever reaches out to me and tells me like oh it's I really love this piece I got it for so and so that I know or I got it for myself as a gift um, and it's of something that they really like and they couldn't find anywhere else that is really rewarding for me and so I would like to continue doing that for like as long as I can I would 
hope to have more time to do that in the future because just being in school at the same time as doing that's hard to kind of do both at once um the dream would be to have a, a business that could sustain me and I could live off of um but yeah even if that doesn't happen I would love to keep selling my art forever and keep making art forever <laughs>